our friends in Christ, every year on this day, we come around the altar to thank and praise God for unceasing graces and blessings showered on us and to thank for the Lord, the gift of the person, Reverend Father Augustus Muller, the founder, father of our institutions. As we are celebrating 144th Founders Day of our Institute, we should take pride in our stride for being a part of this mighty Institute, wherein we serve with the motto, Heal and Comfort. May it not remain only the motto of the founder, rather to become an inspiring slogan of every individual who is working and rendering service in this institute. As we celebrate this Thanksgiving Eucharist, may we truly become healers and comforters of the sick and suffering by trying our best to alleviate the suffering and bring about comfort to the suffering. May the zeal and compassion of our Father Founder be ours as we become his extensions in serving with joy and happiness. And love by being faithful, loyal partners in the healing ministry of this institute. We are joyful and honored to welcome Reverend Dr. Praveen Martis, Principal of St. Aloysius College, along with Board of Governing Members, together with the members of Centenary Society, to thank and praise God for the gift of Father Augustus Muller and his mission to compassionate care. Let us now stand for the entrance hymn. <laughs> Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, we had a beautiful introduction to the Mass as you all celebrate the Founders Day, Reverend Father Augustus Muller. Also, you celebrate his birth anniversary, 183rd birth anniversary, 
and 144th Founders Day. We all remember his dedication and commitment to Father Muller's charitable institutions. It all began in 1880. He came along with other Jesuit fathers to St. Elvisius at the behest of all the Catholics from Mangalore. And he continued his ministry of serving the sick and the suffering. And he started as a small little seed. Today it has become a huge banyan tree. And under this huge banyan tree, thousands and thousands of people come and they are served. On this day, we thank God and praise for the dedicated service of all the fathers here, all the sisters here, the doctors, the nurses, and all those who are volunteering to support the patients. And also on this occasion, let us pray for all those who are there at this moment seeking God's help and mercy. For the times you have not rendered our service to the poor and the needy and the sick and suffering as we are called to be. Let us ask God's pardon and mercy and see all together, I confess, Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, in my greatest sin, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most deepest fault. Therefore, I ask this million words, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance. Have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of your our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, thus says the Lord, in a time of favor, I have answered you. In a day of salvation, I have helped you. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people, to the established the land, to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come out. To those who are in darkness, appear. They shall feed along the ways. On all bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst. Neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them. For he who has pity on them will lead them. And by springs of water, will guide them. And I will make all my mountains a road, and my highways 
shall be raised up. Behold, these shall come from afar, and behold, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Syen. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exult, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me, and my Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child, that she should have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even these may forget, yet I will not forget you. The word of the Lord. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. Slow to anger, abounding in mercy. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all His creatures. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his deeds the lord supports all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down the lord is kind and full of compassion the lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his deeds the lord is close to all who call him who call on him in truth the lord is kind and full of compassion the lord is kind and full of compassion. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus answered the Jews, My father is working until now, and I am working. This was why the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because not only was, the, was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own Father, making himself equal with God. So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of his own accord, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, that the Son does likewise. For the Father loves the Son and shows him 
all that he himself is doing and greater works than these will he show him so that you may marvel for as the father raises the dead and gives them life so also the son gives life to whom he will for the father judges no one but he has given all judgment to the son that all may honor the son just as they honor the father whoever does not honor the son does not honor the father who sent him truly truly i say to you whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life he does not come into judgment but has passed from death to life truly truly i say to you the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the son of god and those who hear will live for as the father has life in himself so he has granted the son also to have life in himself and he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the son of man do not marvel at this for the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment and i can do nothing on my own as i hear i judge and my judgment is just because i seek not my own will but the will of him who sent me the gospel of the lord praise to lord jesus christ may the words of the gospel wipe away our sins your sisters and brothers in jesus christ today's readings are very apt for our reflection on this wonderful celebration of the founders day the first reading taken from the book of isaiah gives us very touching experience at the end of the reading says can a woman forget a nursing child or show no compassion of our child of our womb even if this is done i will not forget you these are the very beautiful words from the first reading so many times you have reflected on such beautiful words a woman a maternal love is unfathomable womanhood is the embodiment of love and that love and care that we all celebrate and more so in a sacred place like father mullah's hospital this is a very sacred place where god's love and mercy is really felt and experienced and understood and people get touched mother is truly an embodiment of love they say her love is as deep as the ocean and as high as the gigantic mountain and that is where we come to feel this experience in a hospital mother always there for a child but then there are cases where in today's modern world we see the mothers abandoning their children even aborting their own child and their children and this is happening more and more in today's world the words spoken those days are even apt today even if they forget i will never forget you god's love is infinitely 
larger than the mother's love god is there for us always and these are the sentences that vibrate in our minds and hearts today god's love is unconditional the love is called the agape that is much much deeper even if a human person forgets but i will never forget you these are soothing words and on these words i'm sure this father mullah's hospital is built on the love of christ and with that love of christ father mullah from germany came here many many years ago he was a renowned educationist studied in new york in fordham university of a jesuit university those days and then gets his education in paris under a homeopath and then along with the other jesuits who are coming to mangalore in 1878 he lands here especially to teach mathematics and french he starts in a little way as an educationist to to serve the poor the underprivileged in the campus of st elvisius and there are little stories and i am not going to enumerate then a lot of people start coming over there the place becomes crowded and the jesuits themselves ask him to move out if at all he wants to serve and he finds a place here under a banyan tree and starts his work of serving the poor the sick and the suffering is a almost three decades of work here at this place and today we have seen this work has grown in innumerable ways and countless people are served in this very sacred place the sanctuary of restored health the hospital always gives us this understanding of the intersection of the healing ministry the compassion and the care i'm sure father mullah began his work with these three important words of compassion care and the cure the compassion father mullah i'm sure had truly compassion for the sick and the suffering though he was called to teach in a education institution but then he found a call within a call he found a call within a call that this is not enough just to educate the students but i must also do something more when god calls me and that is the call that he realizes and begins his ministry of a healing ministry only because he had such compassion for the poor the underprivileged the sick and the suffering in this region that's why he couldn't resist that call he begins his ministry and begins his ministry with so much of love and uh, the people of this place or many people in india did not even know about homeopathy medicine and he begins this medicine here initially and then of course he goes into allopathy and then this place begins to grow larger and larger today we are so proud of father mulla charitable institutions serving countless people and thousands of people serving here with so much of dedication commitment and love coming to today's gospel reading jesus says my father is still working and i am working along with the father and whoever believes in me will have eternal life whoever believes in the father believes in me and whoever believes in me will have eternal life what happens here in this very place in god's creation the life is germinated we are giving life to the people who come here with the healing ministry with the care that we show this is a heaven of care where people are taken care with so much of love and dedication is a smile of a nurse that will touch the patient the doctors encouraging words and fathers the spiritual nourishment and the sisters healing touch all those things definitely make a huge difference at this moment i remember 
a real incident that happened in the life of Father Pedro Arupe. He was called the second founder of the Jesuits. First founder was St. Ignatius of Loyola. The second founder also comes from the same place, from Bilbao, from Spain. He was doing his studies as a medical doctor. He was studying for becoming a doctor. And during that time, many youngsters would ridicule the fathers, the priests, and the healing ministry, and the miracles, saying that the miracle can never take place. And he was one of them, who was part of that group of people who were ridiculing. Though he was a Catholic, he was studying for the medicine, but he had this understanding. And the group of these students go to Lourdes. Lourdes was already a famous place in France. They all go to just to say that miracles never take place. And they went to study this kind of a phenomenon. And they were all there for almost about four days. And the first day is over. The second day, as they were all waiting for the procession, there's a procession in the evening with the holy sacrament that is taken in procession. And at that time, there are so many people are taken in a wheelchair and other ways to see that they're all there. And uh, maybe some of them are touched and healed. And there was a person who was taken in a wheelchair, could not walk. And this group of students were watching this particular phenomena. And at that time, this man gets up and starts walking. This man, young Peter, could not believe his eyes. He came and said that it is not possible. The studies will reveal that beyond this... Uh, uh, treatment, there is no other miracle that is possible. Just in front of his eyes, this miracle takes place. And immediately, he surrenders to God. He comes back and leaves his profession as a doctor and joins the Jesuits. And then, he wants to become a missionary priest. He goes to Japan and when he was uh, humble, Simple priest, he had left his medicine and also the treating the people. And now a Jesuit, he was a novice master. At that time, the incident of Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombing takes place. And close to his place, the things were completely devastated. And that's the time he realizes he also studied the medicine and knew certain skills. He, along with the Jesuit novices, starts taking care of the people who are sick and suffering at that time. They're completely devastated, brings them to the Jesuit place, and it becomes a hospital. And after a few days, when he's walking around, he finds a little girl and a father of that uh, little girl. Both of them in a place were suffering and nobody to take care of them. And they were coming regularly for the mass in the Jesuit chapel. And when he goes there, this little child was suffering and not able to even to speak. He tends a body and tries to take care of her. At that moment, this particular little young girl asked him a question. Father, have you brought the communion for me? Father, have you brought the communion for me? And he had the communion. And he gives that communion to this little girl. And after some time, this little girl passes away. And he says, this was the most touching experience of my life. I never felt at this moment of uh, suffering, this little girl would ask for the communion. And the Jesus Christ really gives her a life. That is where, when we truly believe in Christ, Christ gives us eternal life. And that was the most touching experience, he says, in his all of his life, when someone asks for communion. My dear sisters and brothers, 
we are here now father mullers has become super speciality hospital the beautiful medical care is given the treatment is given the best of places in mangalore but we must not forget that christ is still working god is still working here continuously and we must see the presence of god in the patients we must see the presence of god in others that is where like a mother we can move forward with that love and god's mercy and we can make this as a sanctuary of a restored health on this day let us specially pray that father mulla who came here with the inspiration of christ to serve the poor the sick and the suffering may continue to pray for us continue to intercede for this institution so that this institution grows and becomes a huge tree that serves countless people with love and care of jesus christ with the unconditional love of god's mercy let us pray to the lord who knows the depth of our heart and let us pray to god in spirit and truth for all our needs your response gracious father hear our prayer gracious father hear our prayer heavenly father we pray for our mother church bless pope francis and all the ecclesiastical leaders may she be guided and governed by the power of our, your holy spirit and discover ways to foster truth reconciliation and healing we pray to the lord gracious, gracious father, father hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer we pray for our political leaders who govern our nation lead them from falsehood to truth from darkness to light enlighten the citizens of india to cast their vote responsibly during the forthcoming election grant us leaders who will uphold the secular values enshrined in our constitution we pray to the lord gracious father hear our prayer we pray for all our institutions under the patronage of father mulla continue to make them a boards of compassion with a mission to heal and comfort bless our director and all the administrative faculty with wisdom and discernment to respond appropriately to the challenges our times we pray to the lord gracious father hear our prayer we pray for our father mulla family anchored in jesus the great healer may everyone on the campus strive to be your hands and feet reaching out to the suffering humanity with love and compassion we pray to the lord gracious father hear our prayer we thank you for the beloved parents and family members of our students who nurtured their medical profession and supported them in all seasons keep them in good health bless their labor of love and sacrifice with countless graces we pray to the lord gracious father hear our prayer we thank you for the gift of our friends benefactors and well wishers thank you for their time talent and providential support which enables us to fulfill the ministry you have entrusted to us grant we pray that they may get their rewards we pray to the lord gracious father hear our prayer God our loving father we praise and thank you for this beautiful day with grateful heart we humbly place before you all these our needs through your providential care grant us whatever we need for our life's journey on earth we make this prayer through Christ our lord amen, amen.
brethren that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the power of this sacrifice O lord we pray mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O lord we humbly implore you by the same spirits graciously making holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of 
the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in christ may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph her spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs saint joseph and with all the saints on whose constant intercession on in your presence we rely for unfailing help may this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray o lord advance the peace and salvation of all the world be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant francis pope peter paul our bishop and all the orders of bishop and clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion o merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through christ our lord through whom you have bestowed on the world all that is good through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen let us pray with confidence to the father in the words our savior gave us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of peace This is Jesus Christ the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world happy are those called to the banquet of his love Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word my soul shall be healed
place upon your table A gleaming cross of wine The weaving of a story The fabric of a life The dreams of those before us The ancient hope of Christ The promise of a future A meaning and an answer The year before
heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, nor bring judgment to those who receive them. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Founders Day, a great day for us to rejoice and to thank God for the innumerable blessings on our institutions, on our faculty, staff and students, their families, and more especially on our patients. And therefore, on this great day, I take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you the greetings of this Founders Day of our founder as we celebrate his 183rd birth anniversary. May our founder continue to inspire us to work towards the motto of this institution, heal and comfort. Kindly pray at his grave and draw inspiration that we may serve like him with compassion, with mercy and love. On behalf of my brother priest in the management, all faculty, staff and students of our institution, I express my sincere thanks to Reverend Dr. Praveen Martis, the first Vice Chancellor of St. Elvisius, deemed to be University, Mangalore, and also he is a member of our governing board. I thank Dr. Praveen Martis for presiding over this Eucharistic celebration and giving us a very meaningful homily, especially inspiring us what our founder has done to do likewise, to follow our master, Jesus, in our institutions. For the Mart Martis, we express our sentiments of gratitude and uh, our appreciation today because he is the first vice chancellor of St. Elvisius, deemed to be university. And as a vice chancellor, he is coming for the first time to celebrate this Eucharist year. And also in the evening, he will be our chief guest for the cultural program. I request our administrators, for the Ajit Menezes and for the Roshan Krasta, to come forward and offer the bouquet of flowers to our vice chancellor. Today, I acknowledge the presence of our governing board members and also members of the Father Muller Centenary Charitable Society, and I thank them for their presence. I also thank all our faculty, staff, and students of all our colleges in our institution and all our well-wishers, especially for taking part in today's Eucharistic celebration. I should not forget all my collaborators, priests in the management. They are support every day and all of us are shouldering the responsibility of this mighty institution. Thank you, dear fathers, for concelebrating today and also for all your support and guidance in running these institutions. My hearty thanks to our institutional choir for their melodious singing today. And more especially, I thank Mr. Wilton for playing the keyboard, our own staff of Father Mulla College of Speech and Hearing, and Mr. Denzil Pereira for training our choir members and conducting the choir today. Special thanks to all our students, staff, who took part in the choir today. And I also thank Father Ajit for bringing all the students together and also giving all the initial training. Thank you, Father, and thank you, dear choir members, Mr. Wilton and also Mr. Denzil. Once again, thank you and wish you all the best. Have a wonderful day. Especially I thank Reverend Father Richard Cuvello for the wonderful work that is going on at uh, Father Muller's charitable institution under his uh, great leadership. And wish him and uh, all the fathers here working for this institution a very happy Founders Day.
I am uh, grateful, as I said, for this uh, invitation. It happens to be my first day of career celebration after the announcement of the Vice Chancellor of St. Elvisius Deemed to be University. Yesterday evening it was announced in the public and today was the first mass. I am so grateful it so happened that in this place, with the prayers of all of you, may you continue to pray for me and pray for the institution is a great responsibility God has given us and we must take it forward with your prayers and intercession. My dear brothers and uh, sisters, as we move on with this wonderful work, we continue to pray God's blessings and uh, also see that this charitable institution grows and becomes a university one day. Let's all rise for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Bless me to God. So we'll cherish the 
the DJ and DJ.
The procession is entering near the entrance. charitable institutions have gathered today once again to commemorate the 183rd birth anniversary of our founder, Reverend Father Augustus Muller, which we celebrate as our Founders Day. This is the day where all 3,500 plus staff of this great institution look forward throughout the year for these two months, where the celebration starts with various sports, cultural activities, sport games and ends with a cherry on top of the cake with cultural events. A hearty welcome to our beloved director of Father Muller Charitable Institutions, Reverend Father Richard Kuvelho, all the administrators, assistant administrators, all institution heads, governing board members, faculty and staff of FMCI. Kindly rise and welcome them all. All the audience, kindly rise. Samakalnarigu, MC, Dr. Jesse Vati Indra, Mullar Sanjaya, Shubhanamanagadu, Vaidyakiya Kshetra Dalli, Prapachat Dhyanta, Prakyati Padadiruva, Sumaru Nura Nalvattu Nalku Varshakada, Ithiyasa Ondida, Uvat Muru Savirda, Ainura Kittalu, Meerida Ripanigalandu Ondida, Mangalorina Ganganadia, Father Bullers, Soundia, Varshika Bakke, Tamagalarigul, Atmiwada, Swagata, Su Swagata, E. Samstia Stapakarada, Reverend Father Augustus Muller, S.K., our Nora Empathane, Uddha Bada Dinavano, now Nama Samstia Stapaka Dinavagi, Achilis Tewe. In a Karikramada, Adikshirada, Nama Piriti Pater Rada, Father Reverend Father Richard Puel Dovrike, Adalita di Karigalu, Sahadi Adalita di Karigalu, Ella Santia Melvichara Karu, Adiapakaru, Agi Sipan the Varka the Varano, Admi Tawagi Sagoti Steve.
Give them a big hand. They have done a good job. Come on everyone, give a big hand. A day without prayer is a day without blessing. A life without prayer is a life without power. India is a multi-religious, multicultural country with various dances and cultures ranging from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. We wish to invoke the blessings from the Almighty in the form of dances from the beautiful and vibrant staff of Father Muller Hospital, Tumbe. It starts with traditional prayer dance and welcome dance by Garba from Gujarat, Punjabi dance from Punjab, and Odni dance from Maharashtra. Prarthani Rahita Dinavu, Ashirvada Rahita Dinadante. Agu, Prarthani Rahita Jeevanavu, Baradu Jeevanadante. Namma Bharatavu, Dharmikate, Agu, Bhau Samskriti in the Kudi the Deshavagide. Namma Deshavu, Kashmira Dinda, Kanya Kumariya Tanaka, Vivida Riti and Rathyagalu. Hagu Samskriti and no Volagundi day. Now Nama Sarvashak the Devarinda Ashir Vadavan no Koralu Taman Ratya the Mulaka Nimma Munde Baruti Dare Namavare Adanta Father Mullas Tumbe Aspatreya Sibandi Varga Agu Father Mullas College of Nursing Tumbeya Sibandi Varga Davaru E Samaramba the Prathani Matu Swagat and Ratyavu, Samtra Daika Prathane, Agu Swagat and Ratya, Gujaratina, Garbar Ratya, Punjabina, Punjabin Ratya, Agu Maharashtra, Wodnin Ratyavanu, Wolagundi Day. Here comes Tumbe Staffs. I'm gonna 
दरबे की रात में चुड़ी खन गाई तुमने आधी ही बात में सनन सनन जाहिर जिया करबे की रात में चुड़ी खन गाई तुमने आधी ही बात में करबे की रात मिया करके मेरा जिया कह देना आज तू है मेरे साथ तेरी मैं तो जगा रहता हूँ रोक न पावा अखियाँ बिच्छों गम दिया बरसा तन्नू आरे गिन गिन याद च तेरी मैं तो जगा रहता हूँ रोक न पावा अखियाँ बिच्छों गम दिया बरसा तन्नू
staff of Tumbe Hospital and Nursing College for the gracious prayer dance and that vibrant welcome dance. Do you all agree with me? Was it a vibrant dance? Very good. Without welcoming, the function doesn't start. A dream written down with the date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. A plan packed by action makes your dreams come true. This is what our administrator, Father Reverend Father Ajit Meninz's dreams. We request our dearest administrator, Reverend Father Ajit Meninz's, to welcome the gathering. Give him a big hand! When Dr. Jesse does the MC, entire hall is vibrating. I think I need to put a additional pillars and uh, beams to this construction. <laughs> Anyhow, good evening to one and all here, respected director, all the administrators, heads of the institutions, faculty, staff, as well as my dear students. There is a saying, nothing grows under banyan tree. But for this, we can say, Father Mullah Charitable Institution grew under a banyan, banyan tree. And that what is we are witnessing, a mustard seed sown in the soil has grown so tall and so wide. And we can see the branches here in this Father Mullah Convention Center. A big round of applause to all of us. Secondly, 13th is the number or the date nobody likes. If you travel in the flights, there is no 13 numbered row at all in some of the flights. But for us Mullerians, for Father Muller family, 13 is the number which can never be erased from our hearts because it is inscripted in our hearts because it is a birthday of our dear father. Augustus Muller, our founder. First and foremost, respectfully remembering him and paying our tribute and salutation to him. My dear, all the members in the house, I'm here standing on behalf of the management to welcome all of you. And first and foremost, I cordially and dearly welcome Father Muller, Charitable Institution Director Reverend Father Richard Elocious Quello is the man who always <laughs> likes new initiative, creative ideas, and he always supports. Father Director, on behalf of the entire community gathered here, from the bottom of our heart, we accord a cordial welcome to you. And I request Dr. Prabhu Kiran, Principal of Father Mullah College of Homeopathy, to welcome florally on behalf of all of us. <laughs> Dear members, you can see a lot of growth in the entire campus. And this is possible only through a teamwork. And we have a band of administrators right from medical college, that is myself, and hospital, as well as Tumbe, homeopathy, and also our spiritual animators. All of us are so united, and that is the fruit that you can see in the campus. A cordial and genial welcome to all the administrators. Let's give them a big round of applause. And the students, you know, the academics are looked after by dean and principals of various colleges. They are there with us every time. 
they are there in our growth in our success as well as in our failures a genial welcome to all the de dean principals and medical superintendents vice principals vice deans of these institutions a warm welcome to you dear sir and madams our strength is always seen when there are a big band of doctors and we are supported by them they are there with us day in and day out let's welcome all the faculty members of medical college nursing college college of homeopathy college of uh, speech and hearing college of Spizio physiotherapy allied health science as well as college of nursing from tumbe i cordially welcome all the faculty members from these institution <laughs> dear students you have seen we have seen that you were, you always dance on the stage and we are spectators today we are going to entertain you and you are today the spectators let's give round of applause and a sign of welcome to all the staff those who are present here those who are going to perform today evening and make our day or the evening a wonderful and colorful how can i forget you dear students you are apple of our eyes <laughs> you are always there in our heart not in our mind there you are there in our heart that is why we always give you a lot of respect lot of love and you are always there for us and you are stars of father muller family a cordial genial welcome to all the students those who are gathered here big round of applause dear students give a big hand children with this note once again i am welcoming each and every one of you the all the faculty members staff students and the management committee members a cordial genial welcome to each and every one of us let's all and sit back and enjoy today's evening with the colorful performances that are ahead of us thank you very much and thank you for giving me uh, a pleasant task of welcoming to all of you thank you thank you one and all thank you father our hearts are contented with your loving words of welcome and we extend a very warm welcome to you too father on this auspicious day let us look back at the man behind the great success of this institution reverend father augustus muller Father Muller was sent to India from Venice as a Jesuit to teach French and mathematics in St Aloysius College Mangalore. He was specialized in homeopathy who was trained by eminent doctors in Paris. Father Muller drew his strength from his compassion for the poor, started with a small clinic under the tree near the chapel as Father Ajit mentioned. As the hospital grew slowly, more and more qualified people came to help him more buildings were added and sisters of charity showed interest but compassion for the poor remained the cornerstone of his philosophy he left behind the slopes of konkanadi a legacy of love and compassion so firm and strong is this legacy that his successors as directors of father muller's charitable institution have nurtured it constantly upgrading hospital facilities always keeping the poor at heart with the motto heal and comfort as a mark of respect and honor on this occasion of 183rd birth anniversary of this great founder reverend father augustus muller sj on behalf of the father muller's family a floral tribute will be paid by the director of our institution reverend father richard covello administrators assistant administrators governing board members and all the head of various units indina ee mangalakara shubha dinadandu naavu ee samsthaya mahan yashasina hindina vyaktiyadanta 
ರೆವರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಅಗಸ್ಟಸ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಎಸ್ಟೆ ಇವರನ್ನು ಸ್ಮರಿಸೋಣ ಈ ಮಹಾನ್ ಜಜ್ವಿತ್ ಗುರುಗಳನ್ನು ಮಂಗಳೂರಿನ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಲಾಶಿಯಸ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಭಾಷೆ ಮತ್ತು ಗಣಿತವನ್ನು ಕಲಿಸಲು ವೆನಿಸ್ನಿಂದ ಭಾರತಕ್ಕೆ ಕಳುಹಿಸಲಾಯಿತು ಅವರು ಪ್ಯಾರಿಸ್ನ ಸುಪ ಸುಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ವೈದ್ಯರಿಂದ ಹೋಮಿಯೋಪತಿ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣದಲ್ಲಿ ತರಬೇತಿಯನ್ನು ಪಡೆದಿದ್ದರು ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಅವರು ಬಡ ಜನ ಹಾಗೂ ಕುಷ್ಠ ರೋಗಿಗಳ ಮೇಲಿನ ಕರುಣೆಯಿಂದ ಈಗಿನ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನಾ ಮಂದಿರದ ಸಮೀಪದ ಬ್ಯಾನಿಯನ್ ಮರದ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಕೊಠಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆಯನ್ನು ಆರಂಭಿಸಿದರು ಅವರು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯವು ಮುಂದುವರೆದು ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕ್ ಸ್ಥಳದಲ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಕಟ್ಟಡಗಳು ತಲೆ ಎತ್ತಿದವು ಅವರ ಪರಿಶ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಮನಸ್ಸೋತು ಅನೇಕ ಅರ್ಹ ಮತ್ತು ಅನುಭವಿ ಜನರು ಅವರ ಕೆಲಸಕ್ಕೆ ಸಹಾಯ ಹಸ್ತ ನೀಡಿದರು ಇವರ ಕೆಲಸಕ್ಕೆ ಮರುಳಾಗಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾರಿಟಿ ಸದಸ್ಯರು ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ತೋರಿ ಅವರ ಕೆಲಸದಲ್ಲಿ ನೆರವಾಗಿ ನಿಂತರು ಇವರಿಗಿದ್ದ ಬಡವರ ಮೇಲಿದ್ದ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಮತ್ತು ಕರುಣೆ ಇಂದಿನ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಮೈಲುಗಲ್ಲಾಗಿದೆ ಫಾದರ್ ಅಗಸ್ಟಸ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಇವರು ಏಳು ಬೀಳುಗಳ ನಡುವಿನ ಸತತ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನಗಳಿಂದಾಗಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಮತ್ತು ಸಹಾನುಭೂತಿಯ ಪರಂಪರೆಯನ್ನು ರಚಿಸಿದರು ಈ ಪರಂಪರೆಯು ಎಷ್ಟು ಪ್ರಬಲ ಹಾಗೂ ದೃಢವಾಗಿದೆ ಎಂದರೆ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರು ನಿರ್ವಾಹಕರು ಬಡ ರೋಗಿಗಳ ಅಗತ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ತಕ್ಕಂತೆ ಅನೇಕ ಆಧುನಿಕ ಸೌಲಭ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಪರಿಚಯಿಸಿ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಯಶಸ್ಸಿಗೆ ಕಾರಣೀಭೂತರಾದರು ಹೀಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಂಫರ್ಟ್ ಎಂಬ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ವಾಕ್ಯಗಳೊಂದಿಗೆ ಬಡವರ ಜೀವನಕ್ಕೆ ಹೊಸ ಚೈತ್ಯನ ನೀಡಿದ ಅಗೋಮ ಅಗೋ ಅಮೋಘ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯದು ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಮಹಾನ್ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾಪಕರಾದ ಫಾದರ್ ಅಗಸ್ಟಸ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ನವರ್ನ ನೂರ ಎಂಬತ್ತನೇ ಜನ್ಮದಿನದ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಗೌರವ ಆಗಿ ಗೌರವದ ಸಂಕೇತವಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಕುಟುಂಬದ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಗೌರವಾನ್ವಿತ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳಾದ ನಮ್ಮ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಸಹಾಯಕ ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ನಿರ್ವಾಹಕರು ಗವರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಸದಸ್ಯರೊಡಗೂಡಿ ಪುಷ್ಪ ನಮನವನ್ನು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ please take your seats what do you want now ladies and gentlemen time has come to sit back relax enjoy all the vibrant colorful loving and energy packed cultural events executed by most of the staffs of different units of fatherless charitable institution under the guidance of reverend father john jeevan sequera priya bandavari father muller aspatriya adalita adhikariyada ರೆವರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಜೀವನ್ ರವರ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶನದಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ವಿವಿಧ ಘಟಕಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಗಳು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಮೆರುಗನ್ನು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಸಲು ವರ್ಣರಂದೇತವಾದ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಶಕ್ತಿ ತುಂಬಿದ ಅನೇಕ ಸಾಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಕ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದಿಡಲು ಕಾತುರತೆಯಿಂದ ಕಾಯ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇವಾಗ ಒಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ one small change sorry director 
I request our beloved director to give the message to the crowd on behalf of our function. Just I want to be brief. We are a mighty institution. And today, as Father Mullah family, we are all gathered here on our Founder's Day. And morning, we praised and thanked God for the innumerable blessings on us, on our institutions, on our faculty, staff and students and more especially on our patients and their bystanders. Now what message could I give? When I say we are all members of Father Mullah family and you know what is in the family? It is love, care, understanding, mutually helping each other and living in a very peaceful and friendly way. But unfortunately, it may not be in all families. There are broken families. But for us, we are a united family, a family of love, family of mutual understanding, family of mutual care and also helping each other and making our life joyful, happy and pleasant. This is what we see in our institutions, be it the management, the faculty of all the colleges, the staff, the students, everyone. We respect each other. We love each other, we help each other, we understand each other, and we all grow together in Father Mullah family. My dear, all present here, let us pledge ourselves that we love each other, we care for each other, we understand each other, and we make each one's life happy, joyful, and pleasant. Let us try to avoid our differences, the small misunderstandings, the differences, the differences today we see. Our own leaders planting or pouring out poison of division of hatred, of hating each other to that extent where life has become very difficult to live and we have failed to live as human beings. Dear friends, we all need to live as human beings. The qualities, the values of human life is different. This we understand only in the family setup. In our political field, ideas of hate, misunderstanding, blaming each other, pulling down each other, forgetting the progress of the nation, forgetting the progress of the people, forgetting the aspect of education, the aspect of culture and forgetting that we are, uh, we are that we are human beings that is what happens in our country but there are so many good things uh, in our neighborhood we live in harmony in peace in our institution we live in peace and harmony let there not be any differences of religion of caste of creed of culture but 
let us speak the language of love let us let us put forward the culture of love and let us end the culture of hatred the culture or um, dehumanizing aspects in the community in our institutions or in the society wherever you go you say you are from father mullahs and that we have learned values we have imbibed the spirit of our founder and that's why we live in peace and harmony and today on founders day this is the message and this is the spirit that we all should exhibit and for that reason we had a thanksgiving mass and all our colleges entire family of father mullahs staff faculty students everyone coming together today for little relaxation cultural evening and followed by the loving and delicious dinner which we are going to share with uh, after some time after this cultural program so dear all gathered here i wish on behalf of this institutions each and every one of you a very happy founders day and let us all work for the growth and progress of this institutions and let us remember that all of us are here to serve and to give care to the sick and the suffering humans and that is our mission and i thank everyone all my collaborators my priest in the management all the management committee members governing board members mc and advisory committee members student body and our staff and faculty everyone i am here acknowledging your support your guidance your prayers and all that you do for the institution to each and every one of us let us thank god and let us continue the same spirit have a pleasant evening and may god bless us all thank you thank you dear director for keeping your flock together as a good shepherd and thank you for regenerating the feeling of what is family we do go away from our times but, but you really, you really brought, brought that feeling back, back into, into us i think, I think all, all of you are, you are agreeing he is our head and we are his family are you ready to say yes father we are always with you i request now we'll start a cultural program give a big hand love is a unique concept it has gain it has loss it has laughter it has sacrifice it has pain it has happiness it has jealousy it has commitment love transforms everyone love itself changes through ages Here is a dance fusion showcasing the transformation of love songs and romance through the different eras of Bollywood by Father Muller College of Speech and Hearing College of Nursing and School of Nursing staff Preeti embudu ondu parikalpane adaralli novide adaralli labavide adaralli nashtavide adaralli naguvide ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ತ್ಯಾಗವಿದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸಂತೋಷವೂ ಇದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಅಸೂಯೆ ಇದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ತೃಪ್ತಿಯೂ ಇದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಅತೃಪ್ತಿಯೂ ಇದೆ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯು ಎಲ್ಲರನ್ನೂ ಪರಿವರ್ತಿಸುತ್ತದೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯು ವಯಸ್ಸಿಗೆ ಅನುಗುಣವಾಗಿ ಬದಲಾಗುತ್ತದೆ ವಿವಿಧ ಯುಗಗಳ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಗೀತೆಗಳು ಹಾಗೂ ಪ್ರಣಯದ ರೂಪಾಂತರವನ್ನು ಪ್ರದರ್ಶಿಸುವ ಸಂಯೋಜನೆಯನ್ನು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶಿಸಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲಸ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಯರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಆಫ್ ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ನ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಗಳು ತುಮ್ಹಾರಿ ಬಿನ 
तुम्हारे बिना कैसे बताए Love jumps fences, leap hurdles, and penetrate walls to reach its beautiful destination with full of hope, as said by poet Maya Angelou. In the 1980s and the 1990s, Bollywood produced a plethora of iconic romantic movies, which have an everlasting impact on Indian cinema. It depicted love with grand gestures. passionate romance and the triumph of love over all obstacles in the 2000s bo and thereafter bollywood continued producing movies with different ways of love which represented the evolving society with high energetic music and different dance styles now love and romance have become more loud and expressive now embrace yourself as we take you through the transition of love through a journey of different eras of bollywood romance
पल में यू दीवाना मैं हो गया तुम्हें जो मैंने देखा तुम्हें जो मैंने जाना तुम्हें जो मैंने देखा तुम्हें जो मैंने जाना जो होश था वो तो गया
The world is a stage and yes we have our actors bringing in sway the way the english do comes forth the fathermula medical college hospital faculty staff with the theme of western act and dance braving a very scarcely done theme they have saddled their horses for a thrilling ride through the pages of hollywood themes bringing in a zest of freshness um team dance character play and a crackle of laughter here comes the western act and dance by fathermula medical college hospital jagattu ondu vedike jagatemba vedikeyalli naavu alavaru natarannu hondideve videshada haava bhavagalannu hagu bahala viralavada vishayagalannu ಧೈರ್ಯದಿಂದ ಕುದುರೆ ಸವಾರಿಯಾಗಿ ಹಾಲಿವುಡ್ ವಿಷಯದ ಪುಟಗಳನ್ನು ರೋಮಾಂಚಿತವಾಗಿ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶಿಸಲು ತಯಾರಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ತಮ್ಮ ವಿರಳ ನೃತ್ಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಆಟ ನಗು ಹಾಗೂ ತಾಜಾತನದ ರುಚಿಯನ್ನು ಆಂಗ್ಲರ ಪಾಶ್ಚಿಮಾತ್ಯ ನಾಟಕ ಹಾಗೂ ನೃತ್ಯದ ಮೂಲಕ ತಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶಿಸಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಫಾದ ಮಲ್ಲಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯ ಅಧ್ಯಾಪಕರು ಹಾಗೂ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿ ವರ್ಗ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಟೀಜಿಯಸ್ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಟೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎಸ್ ದ ಹಾಲಿವುಡ್ ನೈಟ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್
I, the cowboy, and the host of today's show. It's all set to guide you. But wait, my friend, the co-host with me, has not turned up. Oh, where did he go? Shots? What happened with the smaller shots you always wear? You see, I have come to the most prestigious Hollywood night ceremony where there are great celebrities present. How could I have come dressed with smaller shots? Don't you know the security at the gate is very strict? He would never let me in. <laughs> Bro, you are really scared of him, huh? Okay, okay. Let me tell you or else he won't let me start the show. I have only one underwear and it did not dry. Well, that should not be a matter of worry for you. However, you keep flying here and there and by that time that underwear would have been dry, you know? Are we here to discuss about my underwear or host an event? Okay, okay, sorry bro. So, I the cowboy and I Superman. The host of today's event. Oh, you know to dance? Yes, I love dance. And I'm a great fan of the King of Pop. Then you are going to be very happy as we begin a first dance performance and tribute to the legendary dancer, Michael Jackson.
Dos. Bro, what are you trying to do? Oh, you know where he learned to walk like that? It was during his visit to India. He saw a lady walking backward on a full moon night. Only to realize it was our very own Bhutania. You are impossible. Hmm. Amongst the audience, can you see the most gorgeous and pretty girl there? Mm-hmm. Hold on, cowboy. Don't be that playboy. Control yourself. You remind me about our first award for the day for the most gorgeous lady in Hollywood. I call upon two eminent personalities, Mr. John Sin and Miss Khalifa, to give them the award. Thank you, Arora. What's happening here? Boss, she has stolen my heart, dude. Stolen your heart? Hmm. There was this famous movie in 1997 which had stolen the heart of many people around the world. Now, here is the next performance who will definitely win your heart as they tap to the music of Stand correctly. Are you confused? Who are we? Hey, I'm Jack, and she is Rose from the movie Titanic. Oh, I'm 
Mr. Smith, the captain of the Titanic. Jack, hold the string. Why should I? I don't know how to sail the ship. Don't be afraid, Jack. The cops ahead will stop us from drink and drive test. Drink and drive? Is it applicable for ships? This is 2024. Everything is possible. Oh no, the ship has hit an iceberg. So, are we in danger? Let us hurry then. The lifeboats are ready. Should I load the women and children first? No, it's the men and children first. Excuse me, did I hear you wrong? It's 2024. Women can handle the sinking ship just as men. Now, obey my orders. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to send the men and children first in the lifeboat. Are you serious, Jack? Yes! This is what you wanted always, to be treated equally, right? No, please don't do that. We don't believe in it anymore. It's 2024, Rose. Let's reverse the scene. So that this time, you get iced. And I will survive, have two wives and seven kids, live a long, long life, and yes, inherit your share too. I think I'm dying, Jack. Gosh, I love 2024. Come on, everyone, give them a huge round of applause. Cowboy, you perform very well as Jack. What happened? Are you okay? I'm getting scared. To make you more scared, here is the next performance from the best and winning horror film of Hollywood. I kindly request everyone to clear up the aisle. Kindly clear up the aisle.
That was too scary. But entertaining too. Let us move on to the next award for the best music award. We have our special guest from India. This team has won the Oscar award for the film RRR and song Not to Know. I welcome Team RRR. Let's hear a few words from Team India. We are happy to be part of this event, receiving the Oscar award, having made this Indian film industry proud. We have progressed and actors like Deepika, Priyanka have achieved success not only in Bollywood but also in Hollywood. I would like to say that I am a proud Indian. Congratulations guys! It would be a great honor if you could perform some steps. to you sir and your team we have watched and enjoyed the contemporary mj and jazz style are you all ready for the finale presentation of hip hop let's go for it Enjoyed Hollywood Night 2024 and understood that success is not achieved accidentally, but it is a result of hard work and perseverance. Sacrifice, love, and passion also follows for the work you do. Hope you had an evening filled with laughter and entertainment. Signing off on behalf of Superman and myself. Adios, amigos. <laughs>
we earn our daily bread and learn from this hospital. Let's make every day more meaningful and hopeful for others and ourselves. Have a great night from Team Father Muller Medical College and Hospital. Mr. Worldwide to infinity, <laughs> you know the roof on fire. We gon' boogie, 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 jiggle, wiggle, and dance <laughs> like a roof on fire. We gon' drink drinks and take shots until we fall out like a roof on fire. Now, baby, get my booty naked, take off all your clothes and light the roof on fire. Tell her, tell her, baby, 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 That was indeed a Western act and dance. Give them a big applause. Which dance did you like? Is it Michael Jackson? Which one did you like? Zooming or Titanic? It looks like Titanic is sinking. It's my great privilege to invite one and only Mrs. Jyoti Pinto, Human Resource Manager of Father Muller's Charitable Institution for announcing the winner's list of various sports events held in the view of Founders Day in the last two months. Sansthapakara Dina Charaneu Arthapurna Vagi, Father Muller Charitable Institution Sansthaya Yellarandu Vandu Kutumba Dante Vogodi Suva Vandu Samrama E. Dishayali Kaleda Eredu Tingalinda Vivida Atota Sparda Galanu Ayojisalagid Davu Avu Galali Vijeta Radavara Hesaru Galanu Nimma Munde Prastuta Padisalu Barilid Dare Manava Sampan Mula Adikari Yadi Srimati Jyoti Pinto Respected dignitaries and my dear colleagues Felicitations and good wishes to you on the joyous occasion of Founders Day I deem it a privilege to announce the winners of sports and games events held in honor of the Founders Day celebration during the past month. Our director, Reverend Father Richard Coelho, flagged off the sports and games events this year with the formal inauguration on 29 February, 2024. The event was witnessed by the Sports and Games Committee members along with the management. Thereafter, we had various sports and games events such as throwball, volleyball, lagori, tug of war, kabaddi, badminton, athletics, cricket, Lucky Games and Housey Housey for all the staff of our institutions under the able leadership of our director and the Sports and Games Committee Chairpersons, Reverend Father Sylvester Vincent Lobo and Reverend Father Ashwin Krasta. The enthusiastic backing from our administrators, Reverend Father Ajit, Reverend Father Jeevan, Reverend Father Roshan, and Assistant Administrator, Reverend Father Nelson, who upheld the Father Muller family crest by their active participation and competing in many sports events, also bagging quite a few medals and trophies. For the first time, we organized cricket for women and had over nine teams to compete. Cricket for men was organized with professional expertise by way of auction. I would like to thank, in a very special way, our committee members, Dr. Kiran Shetty, Dr. Prathvi Shetty, Dr. Nagesh Kiyar, and Dr. Tanush Shetty 
for their invaluable contribution in organizing the sports events. A round of applause, please. We thank Messrs. A.R. De Souza, who through the good offices of Sister Helen Lewis, our laundry in charge, sponsored over 100 prizes for our lucky game contest. In all, we had over 1,000 staff participation in the sports and games events and have given away over 250 prizes and 250 medals. I would come to the runners now. Throwball runners, MRD upholders. Please give them a big round of applause. <laughs> runners of volleyball, cafeteria A group. <laughs> runners of Lagori, staff of dialysis unit. Give them a big hand. Runners of badminton for the Ajit's team. Runners of tug of war, Jen's team, staff from cardiac section. Tug of war ladies team, Father Muller Hospital, Tumbe staff. Runners of Kabaddi, Muller Rhinos. Runners of cricket match, Muller Wizards. Runners of ladies cricket match, Ashita and group. A big round of applause for the runners, please. Thank you. May I now request our sports committee chairpersons, Reverend Father Sylvester Lobo and Reverend Father Ashwin Krasta, to please escort our director, Reverend Father Richard Coelho, onto the stage to give away the trophies to the sports winners. Shall we give them a round of applause too? Director has played badminton. And all the other fathers have also played and participated in a lot of events. So they have shown their sports strength by participating and winning, in, winning several prizes. Okay, may I request the physical instructors, Mr. Chandrasekhar, Mr. Chenna Keshava, and Ms. Shushma to do the needful, please. Winners of throwball match, staff from Central Lab. Please come forward. Give them a big hand. <laughs> Feeling hungry? If you don't clap well, food will be sent back. Winners of volleyball, Muller Strikers, Muller Strikers. Give them a big hand! Winners of Kabadi, please be ready. Winners of volleyball, Muller Strikers. Rulers of Kabadi, HMG, Yoda. Win winners of Tug of War Gents category, Cafeteria A Group. Tug of War Ladies category, FMMCH staff. Badminton.
Jeevan, Muller Red Hunters. The team of Father Jeevan. Father Jeevan, please. Come on, big up, give him a big hand. I think the director is also included in this. He's also a winner. Winners of Lagori, Beta Blockers. Winners of Lagori, Beta Blockers. Jen's team, Muller Strikers. Muller Strikers. Oh, Father, Ajit is coming running. Wow! Give him a round of applause. He's coming really running. Give them a big oh, hand. The team, yay! A little bigger. Winners of cricket ladies team, radiology staff. Cricket ladies team, radiology staff, they really did a good job. We had a lot of sixes and fours that day. have been made possible by three successful special people who toiled hard in, sweat, swel in the sweltering sun throughout the sports events. They are none other than our physical instructors. I request our dignitaries on stage to present mementos to our physical instructors, Mr. Chandra Shekhar, Mr. Chenna Keshava, and Mrs. Shushma as a token of our gratitude for conducting the sports events in a very meticulous and professional manner. Thank you for the director. Thank you for the director, Father Sylvester and Father Ashwin. Thank you very much for your patient listening. Congratulations to all the winners. We will see you next year again. Do you want the same ones? No. Not that others shouldn't come. Take it as a challenge. Beat these and come for the prize next year. This is a challenge for all the other people who didn't win the prize. Thank you, Madam Jyoti, for announcing the list of winners and being there always with a pen and paper, ready in action, like an ever-ready battery, with a smile. Give her a big hand. She's always there for us. Coming to the next program, it is with the theme of Retro to Metro Bollywood. This dance represents the dynamic evolution of dance styles within the vibrant world of Bollywood cinema. Rooted in traditional Indian dance forms, Retro Bollywood dance captures the essence of classic films from the mid-20th century characterized 
by graceful movements, expressive gestures, and colorful costumes. The retro era, epitomized by legendary actors like Raj Kapoor and Madhubala, showcased dance as iconic classical and folk dance elements, incorporating intricate footwork and emotive expressions. In contrast, Metro Bollywood dance embraces fusion and modern choreography converged to create a dynamic and energetic vibes. The fusion of retro and metro dance seamlessly blend classical movements with contemporary flair, resulting in visually captivating performances. This evolution mirrors the challenging cultural landscape of our nation, India. Ultimately, the journey from metro to re retro to metro Bollywood continues to push artistic boundaries. The dance sequences remain a captivating reflection of India's rich cultural tapestry, weaving together tradition and modernity on the cinematic dance floor. Presented by Father Muller Homeopathic Medical College, and hospital and Father Muller Homeopathic Production Division. Here comes the Retro to Metro Bollywood Dance. <laughs> Sampradaika Bharati and Ratya Prakaragalali, Beru Rirva Retro Bollywood Ratyavu, Ipatane Shatamana, the Madhya Bagada, Classics Chalana Chitrigala, Saravano Seri Idiutade, Ido Akar Shekava, the Chalanegalu, Abivek Tishila, San Negalu, Matu Varna Ranjita, Veshe Bushanagalinda, Nirupisal Patide, Raj Kapur, Matu Madabala, Avaranta, Pauranika Natarinda, Nirupisal Patta, Retro Yugavu, Nratyavano, Sampradaika Shastriya, Matu Janapada, Nratya da Amshagalagi, Pradas Shisidu, Sankirnavada Heje, Matu Bhavanatmaka, Abivakti Galano, Ulagundi De, Idake Vati Riktavada, Metro, Bollywood, Nratya da, Samilanavano, Matu Adunuka, Nratya, Sayojani Kriyatmaka, Mahagu Shakti Yuta, Kampana Galano, Sresti Sutta De. Retro to Metro, Rathyada, Samilanavu, Shastriya Chalani Anu, Samakalina Flair Nondige, Sayunjusutta De. Idu Drasti Gocharavagi, Sereyuva Pradeshanagalege, Karanavagutta De. E Vikasavu, Badalagutirva, Bharatada, Samsratika Brudrashavanu, Pratibimbisutta De. Antimavagi, Retro in the Metro Bollywood, Prayanavu. Kalatmaka Gadigalanu Talluvanitinali Munduvari today Ratya the Anukramagalu Bharata the Srimanta Samsrati Kateyanu Bimbisus today Cinemi and Ratya Sanyo Janeu Sampradhaya Matu Adunikanteyanu Wotike Neyuante Madutaway Idanu Brother Shisalo Father Mullah's Homeopathy Medical College Matu Father Mullah's Homeopathy Production Vibhaga Barali Dare. Enjoy yourself. Big you them a big hand.
would feature a captivating display of various folk dance forms representing different cultures and traditions from the graceful movements of yakshagana 
to the energetic beats of Holi Vesha. Each dance form would celebrate the rich heritage of this region. Moreover, inclusion of religious performances such as Baila, Daf Muttu and Kangilu would highlight the harmony among different faiths. The performance would serve as a beautiful testament to the cultural mosaic of Mangaluru, where people from diverse backgrounds come together in harmony, embracing their differences while celebrating their shared humanity, presented by Father Muller's Medical College. Ma Father Muller's College of Allied Health Sciences and Father Muller's College of Physiotherapy.
Tamil of Tulu Nadu. That's wonderful. I'm aware that the people of Tulu Nadu are known for their politeness and humility. Come, let me show you some art forms.
ಮುಸ್ಲಿಮರ ನಂಬಿಕೆಯ ಉಳ್ಳಾಲದರ್ಗೂ ಮುಸ್ಲಿಂ ಬಾಂಧವ್ಯ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂದು ಕ್ರಿಶ್ಚಿಯನ್ ದಕ್ಕನ ಹೋದ ಪರಕೆ ಸಂದರ್ಭ ಬಾಂಧವ್ಯವೂ ಇತ್ತು ಏನು ಕ್ರಿಶ್ಚನ್ ದಕ್ಕನ ಆರಾಧನೆ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಏನ ಅತ್ತು ಸಂತವಾದ ಕ್ರಿಶ್ಚನ್ ದಕ್ಕನು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ವೇದ ಧರ್ಮದ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಮೇಲಿನವಾಗಿ ಹೊತ್ತಾವೇರು ತುಳುನಾಡದ ಉಗ್ರದ ತೋಪಾವೇರ ಜೈತ್ರನಾಡ್
Mullah's College of Allied Health Sciences and Father Mullah's College of Physiotherapy did prove there is unity in diversity. Give a big hand. I think this was exactly what our, our father has spoken about in his message that unity in diversity is very much needed in our nation. And here it has been proven by this spectacular performance. Give them a big hand. Now we have come to the end of the cultural program. No, 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 no. Anusha, just wait. What is it, ma'am? There is a surprise. What is it, ma'am? Just wait and watch. Without this, there is no charm for our program. Any guesses from the audience? Hello, Chick.
to the end of the very vibrant evening, we feel privileged to propose the word of thanks. I thank the Almighty for blessing us all to come together to celebrate our Founders Day this evening. Thank you, Reverend Father Director, for gracing this occasion today and being the backbone of this institution with your humble, approachable, calm attitude. Also, your skills in busting the problems are amazing. Thank you for today and for being with us throughout the year. I'm grateful to the cultural committee members of all institutions who organized a marvelous feast of programs under the able guidance. Audience, and just wait. We have still institutional anthem. Just wait. I request everyone to be please be seated. One more program is there. The food won't be served unless you are seated. So please be seated. I'm grateful to the cultural committee members of all institutions who organized a marvelous feast for off programs under the able guidance and meticulous supervision of Reverend Father George Jeevan Sequera and Mrs. Jyoti Pinto. Let us give three cheers to them. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Thank you, Reverend Father Ajit and his team for his spectacular stage arrangements, technical and logistic arrangements. Special thanks to our dear Father Ajit for his timeless interest in every action happening in the program, in institutions and in the campus. Sometimes, no, no, most of the time, no, no. No, every time his first word is no. <laughs> but he goes out of his ability to do things. He is a perfectioner, looks for it everywhere in, his, in everything with care. I know his, him personally because he is the administrator of Bajpay Rural Health Training Center where I am the coordinator and in charge of the center. There is a saying, you can enter anybody's heart through the stomach. Thank, I thank Reverend Father Nelson and his team for arranging a delicious meal for all of us. Last year, everyone enjoyed the tasty aromatous hot food. We look forward for the same Father Nelson. I also thank all the management committee members, faculty and staff of Father Mula Charitable Institutions for being part of this evening and making it more colorful. I thank Professor Sonia from MHA and entire cultural committee members, coordinators, choreographers who have worked meticulously to make this event a grand success. I thank the staff of Sounds and Electrical, decorators, hall manager, photographers, videographers and media, caterers and hall helpers from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, one and all. <laughs> Food arrangement is made in this way. Two counters are decorated in white color for guest and teaching faculty. Four counters are decorated in yellow color for all hospital and non-teaching staff. Four counters are decorated in pink color, medical college, allied science, and FMCOP. Two counters are decorated in green color for homeopathic students and BASLP students. Two counters are decorated in blue color for school and college of nursing. Two counters are decorated in orange color for all postgraduates and interns. To wind up the beautiful and memorable evening, management has arranged out a sumptuous dinner for all of us. I request Reverend Father Ronald Lobo, our spiritual director, to say grace before the meals and bless our dinner. Kindly rise. God, our loving Father, we thank and praise you for giving us this beautiful day and this pleasant evening. 
Thank you for giving us the opportunity to celebrate our Founders' Day, Reverend Father Augustus Muller. Thank you for all the blessings which you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for the beautiful program. Bless all the participants and the organizers. Thank you for your abundance of love, taking care of us, guiding us, and protecting us. Lord, we ask you to bless this food which we are going to receive from your bounty. Bless all those who are involved in this program. Lord, also bless us with love to serve the humanity, especially the sick and the suffering. We make this prayer through your holy name. Amen. Thank you. Let's stand up for the institutional anthem. Dr. Jesse MC and me, Miss Anusha, signing off. Signing off from MC. Thank you, everybody. Can move towards the counters for your delicious food. Good night. I wish to thank the two lovely ladies here, Dr. Jesse and Miss Anusha, for keeping the evening vibrant, lively, funny, and using their potential to the fullest extent. Thank you very much for that lovely evening of comparing. Thank you very much. You're welcome.